So, day six in Cannes, the competition rumbles on. What's hot, what's not? I know a lot of you wanted to know about the Takeshi Kitano movie, Outrage, which is up for the Palm Door. And I should say, right off the bat, it doesn't have a chance in hell of winning. It's basically old-style Kitano, but with none of the substance, but an awful lot of the visual flash. If you're a Kitano fan, there's nothing here that you won't have seen before. It's something of a return to form after a couple of quirky, offbeat movies that I didn't like very much. Essentially, it's a Yakuza film about escalating violence and revenge and betrayal and all those things that Kitano has always dealt with. It features guys in fantastic suits with fantastic ties and brilliant haircuts shooting each other in totally senseless splurges of violence. I have to say, if you are at all squeamish about fingers or teeth, and I'm squeamish about both of them, there are at least three moments that you're going to find yourself looking away from the screen. Also, an interesting kind of sub-John Carpenter score going on there. And, of course, Takeshi Kitano himself remains a mesmerizing uh, screen presence, his facial tics notwithstanding. As I said, not a contender, but I enjoyed it in a kind of empty, hollow way. Certainly, it's not up there with the likes of Sonatine, which is still, you know, some of his best work. Uh, also, I've seen uh, the Kiristami movie, Copy Conform. Now, the thing you need to know about this is, in the screen that I was in, you could feel it dividing the audience. And at the end of the screening, there was some booing or mooing, as they do in Cannes. It's a really strange form of booing. It's like, moo. The story is best described as, you know that Richard Linklater film, uh, Before Sunrise? Well, imagine Before Sunrise done, but with A-levels and without any of that innocent charm. It's kind of interesting and intriguing, but also stretching and annoying. And the person sitting next to me was certainly reviewing the film with their left leg and were getting very, very fidgety. However, I think there's a possibility that Juliette Binoche must be at least in with a look for the Best Actress Prize. I mean, after all, she is the poster girl. Oh, over there, look, a massive picture of Juliette Binoche. So I think there's a strong possibility that she may get a look for Best Actress, but it's nothing to write home about. However, I'm pleased to be able to tell you that I have seen the worst film at Cannes this year. And believe me, although, you know, I know we're sort of halfway through, you're not going to find anything worse than this. It's Film Socialism by Jean-Luc Godard. And I saw it yesterday over there in the Debussy. Now, obviously, there's been an awful lot of interest in this because the new film by Godard, oh, Godard, Godard, he has a new film here at the festival. And everyone was waiting with bated breath. Now, as you know, if you've been watching Godard's movies recently, they're pretty insufferable. And it's amazing that the guy who at one point was so incredibly popular and revolutionary has become such a boring old fart. But he really excelled himself with film socialism. Uh, the best thing about the thing is I completely didn't understand the film. Not metaphorically, I literally didn't understand the film because one of Godard's decisions was subtitling, oh no, that's beneath me. I shall do no mix subtitling. So whilst everyone was speaking in a foreign language, largely French, occasionally other languages, what the English subtitles gave you was occasionally two or three nomic words. Withdrawal, see, how, he, she, it. So, after about five minutes, I start to think, well, you know what, Jean-Luc, you don't care if I understand this, and frankly, I don't care either. DFK, DFC. As the film played out, this ridiculous montage of apparently revolutionary images, you could hear around the room something, oh, oh, what does it mean? Oh, it's so deep. Uh, alongside that, you could hear other people, me, going... <laughs> It was one of those films that really gave me the idiot's moment. When at one point I thought, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand up and scream in badly unsubtitled English to express my distress at having to sit through it. The thing was, I did want to walk out, but 10 minutes in I thought, if I walk out, I won't be able to, you know, say that I sat through the film. But now I can do it. I was here at Cannes and I sat through the latest Godard. And believe me, it's not just that you won't like the latest Godard, you won't see the latest Godard. If anyone picks that film up and releases it and puts it into a cinema, I will be genuinely amazed. It is a steaming pile of mad, and it is officially the low point of Cannes 2010. Good work, Jean-Luc.